Serious, what do you think is the creepiest slash most disturbing unsolved mystery ever? The disappearance of the Beaumont children The Beaumont children are siblings who disappeared in 1966, there are still to this day investigations on going to try and find the remains of these children. There have been foundations of sheds and houses dug up, the children have never been found and the suspects has never been identified. In 1969, a student was killed in the stacks of the library at my old college, Penn State, and was found with a singular stab wound on her chest. It wasn't even late or anything, and while there were many suspects, no one was ever arrested for it. It's insane how someone could kill a person in broad daylight at a major university and get away with it, it's not really anything super crazy in comparison to other stories here, it's just weird to me personally because I would always study there and I didn't find out about it until after I graduated. Boy in the Box, 1957 Philadelphia Warning, graphic details, this story just makes me so sad and sticks out to me as a true crime junkie, especially with the recent case of a child being found in a Las Vegas suitcase that is still under investigation, basically, a young boy whose age was estimated to be 3 to 7 years old was found in a box naked and mutilated on the side of a road in Philadelphia. It was strange because the boy appeared to have been very malnourished, but was recently groomed, haircut, fingernails all trimmed. He was covered in scars, some surgical, and many bruises. His bones were broken to fit into this box. Cause of death, determined to be blunt force trauma. How anyone could do something like this is just foul and disturbing to say the very least. The worst part is? It's just a big mystery, almost nothing to go off of. There wasn't anyone matching his description reported missing. There wasn't any record of this kid, his pure existence was a mystery, nothing came of the case, even all these years later. There were some leads, but they didn't result to much, despite heavy media coverage and a search to find who this boy was, what happened to him, and who did this. What were the surgical scars for? Why the box? Why was he kept malnourished, but well-groomed? What happened to the Eileen Moore lighthouse keepers? Most likely they were swept out to sea by violent waves, but no storms were reported on the dates they went missing, and if there were, why would they leave the safety of their lighthouse? My great-uncle Jack McGinn disappeared off his shrimp trawler in the Gulf of Mexico in the 1950s. Apparently when he came back from WW2 he became a real SOB. Family thinks he was either mutinied by his crew or left to rot in a Mexican jail. We will never know. The death of Noah Donahoe, he went missing from South Belfast for six days, then someone found his naked corpse at the bottom of a storm drain in North Belfast. Did someone else kill him or did he do it to himself? Either way, how did he get into the storm drain without anyone seeing or stopping him? How did he even fit in the drain to begin with, Irish storm drains are really small. Missy Beavers, a suspect in full SWAT armor breaks into a church and smashes windows and breaks open doors with a hammer, looking for a local fitness instructor. They then find and beat her to death before getting away. There is high quality surveillance video of both them and their car, but investigators couldn't make out the license plate. There has been a suspect who was cleared because of an alibi, and there's been no recent updates. Brianna Maitland, car backed into abandoned house is one of the eeriest things I've ever seen, Branson Perry, jumper cables returned after he disappeared, Christopher Vigil, how did he disappear on a relatively busy trail, Zeb Quinn, puppy inside the car, Donald Duggar, reported people outside his truck before disappearing, I'd take the answers to all of these. Or any of them. Timothy Pitson. A kid who was taken from school by his mother and went missing after his mother killed herself in response to her rocky marriage. Pretty sad considering that the father still believes he's out there, but I'm betting he's dead, lived close to where it happened. The murder of Robert Wong is something I think about often, he was with friends, just staying the night and what happened to him sounds brutal. Even more disturbing to me is the fact that everyone who was in that house that evening seemingly have a pact of silence and are walking around free as a bird. Lavena Johnson murder, covered up by the most powerful military in world. In one of their most controversial wars, evidence of rap and battery with a gunshot wound to the back of the head. Labeled a suicide. And the media never covered it. One that is so bizarre that it is disturbing is the Yuba County Five. I know the men had mental disabilities, but how they ended up in the situation they did is just chilling to think about, also, the West Memphis Three, Robin Hood Hills, murders, finally, the femicides around Juarez, Mexico. In terms of recent ones, Stephen Paddock's completely unknown motive. The Marilyn Monroe case. 
Former child actor Joe Pitchler, Varsity Blues, Beethoven's 3RD 4TH, went missing from his hometown of Bremerton, Washington in January of 2006. His car was found abandoned behind a Mexican restaurant, but no trace of him has ever been found. I am an avid unresolved mysteries reader, and I don't know why it has stuck with my, but Carly Guza. 16-year-old girl called her stepmother to pick her up from a party, reportedly was too scared to sleep because she thought someone would kill her, and the next day she disappeared. There was some weird interviews and dynamics between step-parents and birth parents and a bunch of theories abound. The burnt body found in the Norwegian fjords believed to belong to a female spy, lots of evidence and trails in Bergen but she was never identified. The Tamam should case, so weird. An entire cheesecake went missing from my apartment a couple months back. I live alone and have no friends. Still haunts my dreams. The disappearance of Jody Husentrout. Personally for me. My childhood best friend's father was shot in the back of his head execution style while his wife and grandchild were home. Kid found his body, other than that. UFOs. Summer Wells. I see you Mr. Ballin slash Wendigoon slash Lazy Masquerade slash Paranormal Scholar. Love how you can just tell who the BuzzFeed Unsolved fans here are. After death. Is there life after death or just pure emptiness? Just blackness. The whole MH370 case of the missing plane. It's a wonder how an entire plane is lost in this age and still not found anywhere. West Mesa Bone Collector, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So many women's bodies and the cops have stopped looking for the culprit. They are seriously like, yeah, we think it might have been this guy and he's dead now so. Starbucks? The Yuba County 5. Makes no sense. Asha Degree, who has been missing for 22 years. The disappearance of Lars Mittank and the disappearance of Brandon Swanson. Why are we here? What are we here for? Fiscal Nisman of Argentina, Fiscal Danilo Anderson, Venezuela. Mr. Cruel. Elizabeth Barraza murder. She was murdered in her driveway in the early morning by a person looked to be disguised as a woman. Grainy security footage and no answers. The flight of Malaysia Airlines MH370. Either someone on Earth knows exactly what happened to the plane, or no one knows what happened. Both are equally disturbing. The uncanny valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason to fear something that looked human but wasn't. Really odd. If Prince Andrew the Royal Nance can't sweat. There is some group of five dudes who went missing in the 70s. They were mentally disabled a bit and they only found four of them, but why they disappeared and where they were found makes no sense. It was on the Stuff You Should Know podcast. Blows the mind. Black Dahlia. Where is Jody Husentrout? She disappeared at least 30 years ago. Clues are scarce, but someone knows something. The Phoenix Lights. I can't imagine how so many people witness to this without a decent explanation. Sudden combustion still scares me. The Sodder Children. There was a house fire and the children apparently never made it out. The ladder that the dad kept on the side of the house was missing so he couldn't save the kids. However, no remains were ever found in the rubble. Multiple children just disappeared without a trace after the fire. No clues as to what happened to them. Consciousness and death. The lost colony of Roanoke. Always fascinated me as a kid. My friends and I would gather on the playground and have these secrets club meetings where we would try to solve mysteries, the main one was Roanoke. Friend of mine went missing while hiking in New South Wales, Australia. Epstein and Maxwell's client list. Jessica Chambers. She was set on fire in her car and had gasoline poured down her throat. Paramedics found her walking down the lane on fire. The only part of her body that wasn't burned was the bottom of her feet. She did not survive. Police found a suspect but did not have enough evidence to charge him. Paramedics were so traumatized by what they saw, they had to go through therapy and broke down on stage during interviews. She tried to name her attacker, but her throat was so destroyed, she couldn't be understood. As a diver I find the disappearance of Ben McDaniels to be super interesting. They say he went into a cave and never came out, but some of the world's top cave divers looked for him and never found a body, 
the only evidence that he went diving were staged gas bottles, but they were filled with normal air not any sort of mixture or anything. The owner of Vortex Springs, where Ben went missing, also died mysteriously the year after. KC Anthony Makes me sick to my stomach. The death of Kendrick Johnson. He was found head first, stuffed in a gym mat, and it was ruled an accidental positional asphyxiation death, despite make little to no sense. It's a really messed up and weird case with some graphic images attached to it, so use discretion. Hey TikTok subway surfer guy. Keddy murder. MH370. The McDonald's boys incident that happened in Singapore. Elodia Ginescu, that story gives me chills, it remained unsolved because they could never find the body but they found the murderer, Christian Sioica. It's a pretty old case here in Romania. I also live in Romania so that gives me more nightmares. Why was Ghislaine Maxwell the only person to be charged in an international child trafficking scandal involving the richest slash most powerful men in the world? The disappearance of Lars Mittank. A German man who went on vacation in Bulgaria in 2014. He was last seen at the airport where he was brought into a private room by airport security after his mother had called telling them her son was behaving strangely, saying there were people after him over the phone the night before, a few minutes later, he's seen bolting, and I mean full on sprinting out of the room without his luggage. He ran out of airport, scaled the huge fences around the perimeter and was never seen again, hundreds of witnesses, CCTV footage and a police presence and the man still basically disappeared off the face of the earth in broad daylight. Flight MH370 what happened to it? The thousands of people who disappear in our national parks without a trace. Google David Paulides. John Bonet Ramsey's murder. I'm sure her family has something to do with it. No one knows how eels reproduce. The disappearances of Felipe Santos and Terence Williams point two men go missing after being arrested by the same deputy within three months that he claims he dropped them off at Circle K stores but his stories are inconsistent, they haven't been found since. My dad having gotten his green card a few months before was terrified of getting pulled over by cops since he was working in the same area. Las Vegas I have a friendly acquaintance slash low-level friend who was working in a nearby hotel when it happened. Her version does not match the official version. When witnesses slash survivors people who started telling different stories started coming up dead, she stopped talking about it entirely. Boom. Not sure. I'd say Skinwalker Ranch? I often wonder where my co-worker disappeared to. He was in South Africa, working remote. Cool guy, did IT stuff. Then one day he just never logged in, and never did any work, and we heard nothing. Boss had no idea either, he just disappeared being black and living in SA, it could have been nefarious. The Toynbee tiles are at least bizarre and interesting. I forget what the girl's name was but I remember watching a YouTube video about this chick that went into an elevator acting really weird and then just disappeared off camera, couple days later people in that hotel were complaining that the water tasted weird, so they ended up opening the water tanks on top of the building and found her decomposing body inside it, no one knows how she got in there and it's also weird because those water tanks have locks on them. This one really stuck with me because of just how they couldn't find any information on how or why it happened. The death of Kenneka Jenkins. What happened to Malaysia Airlines Flight 370? That one haunts me. How does a plane like that vanish without a trace? Why there is stairs in the woods, warning, scary 18 plus. The Tylenol murders. The Juarez murders. Who put Bella in the witch elm? 1991 Austin yogurt shop killings. The boy in the box. How does a child get found beaten and lifeless in a box in PA? and yet to this day not a single person has claimed to know them or recognize them. It makes you think that everyone who did know must have have stayed quiet, through choice or otherwise. But how many could that be, it'd have to be a small number or else someone would have spoken up by now, and what about neighbors, teachers, etc? It just makes no sense. Tammy Haas from South Dakota. It's from South Dakota so there wasn't much coverage on the national news. You can google just that and it comes up though. I have theories, but a corrupt police department and a boyfriend who washed his car inside and out the night she was murdered made it hard for this case to get solved. The S asterisk 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 Walker Ranch, I like details but it is a very easy search, sorry, also saying their name is taboo. The Kieran Horman case. He went missing in 2010 and hasn't been found since. 
From what I understand it was most likely his stepmom who might have killed him, if not, trafficked him or did who knows what to the poor kid. Today is the 12-year anniversary of his disappearance. Asha Degree For modern times I am going to go with missing flight MH370, it's a total, what the frick? The Beaumont Children Brandon Lawson was always a weird one to me, although I read they finally found him. Not sure if any explanation for the 911 call exists though. African politics. What happens when you die? Vincent Van Gogh's death. I definitely do not believe the suicide theory even if he was messed up. The gunshot wound was in too odd of a spot for him to have shot himself, I'm now too terrified to go to sleep. Natalie Holloway, disappointed face. What was before the Big Bang? My dad died in June last year, or that what we were told, and then he just came back to life when I won the lottery. Epstein, we as a society need to find out who are his customers. Where the other sock went. The missing 411 cases where the kids who were found alive say their friend helped them and then describe a kid who died years earlier with a similar slash the same name. One case that baffles and fascinates me is that of the Erickson sisters. They are said to have suffered from a shared psychosis known as Foley Adu. But what the heck is that and what caused it? They're the 40-year-old twin sisters from Sweden who became front-page news in the UK in 2008 when they repeatedly ran into traffic on the M6 motorway. A day or two later one of them, Sabina, stabbed a man to death in his home for no apparent reason. She fled the house, striking herself on the head with a hammer as she ran to a highway bridge. She jumped off, falling 12m and landing on a highway. She survived, with several fractures, I've heard the audio from a TV news crew who happened to capture part of the M6 incident and just can't forget one of them yelling at her sister about how they'll steal your organs. Whatever happened to them was intense, sudden, and largely unprecedented. The Boston College Tickler Would break into off-campus apartments and tickle people until they woke up and then flee. HIW Keith Richards outlives everyone on the planet. Mr. Ballin has some good ones. Check out his subreddit and YouTube channel if you haven't already. r slash The story of the lost colony of Roanoke. Zodiac's homicides. Mr. Cruel Australia, just the police sketch of him is enough for hashtag nasleep Mr. Cruel Australia. In Belgium a nuclear reactor was sabotaged a few years back. No harm done in the end, but they never found out who did it. The idea alone of what could have ended up happening is still sending chills down my spine. The Girl Scout Camp Murders That shared psychosis case with the twins, Ursula and Sabina Erickson, who very suddenly ran into traffic on the M6, multiple times even after getting hit and receiving aid, caused absolute chaos, and one later stabbed and killed a man. Video here. Murder of Blair Adams, he was from Canada and kept telling his mother that someone was after him, she thought he was going crazy and he disappeared, sometime after he was found in Knoxville, Tennessee murdered, he had checked into a hotel in Knoxville and there's video footage of him doing so, there are more details that I may be missing but it's always one that I just thought was really weird. Hands down Flannon Isles Lighthouse. Where is Miss Cabbage's wife? It's honestly terrifying that MH370 just completely disappeared. A fight filled with people and we just have no idea where it went or what happened to it. The boy in the box, basically in boy they couldn't identify was found in a box, beaten and bruised, in the woods dead. Look it up for more details but it's terrifying. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, how, in this day and age, does a modern widebody airliner just disappear without a trace? I scrolled for a while and didn't see this one, the Springfield 3. This case lives in my mind rent-free. How does a mother and two girls disappear without a trace from their home, Springfield 3? Chick in the water silo on top of that hotel. The tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Chris Kremers and Lizanne Frun. I watched a YouTube vid showing photos they took after they had got lost or something in the jungle hiking. Pretty sure they were never found but the camera and other bits were found and you can see strange photos they had been taking in the dark lost. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. A plane on a routine flight with 239 people on board went missing mid-flight, and to this day we have no idea what happened. Only a bit of wreckage has been found. Philadelphia Experiment Who took a bite out of my sandwich while I was sleeping last night? The boy in the box slash America's unknown child. I'm late to the party, 
but my personal favorite is Maura Murray. The Roanoke Colony I think. Epstein's Island like what really happened? Not super disturbing, but I would go with the disappearance of the USS Cyclops. Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Summerton Man is a personal favorite. Who has the missing $2.3 trillion that Rumsfeld announced to the USA on September 10, 2001, something happened the following day to sweep that under the rug. Just a coincidence I'm sure. The Johnny Gosh case. It's crazy because it was supposedly linked to an enormous pedophile ring, and his mother is certain he came to see her as an adult. The guy that spontaneously combusted from within his body and found on that armchair. All of the people that go missing in national parks without a trace. Jimmy. Hoffa. Timothy Pitson. So many unanswered questions. Did his mom kill him? Did she really leave him somewhere safe? Why did she kill herself? The Tamam should case, dead man in a suit shows up on Australian beach. No one can figure out the cause of death. No one can figure out who he even is. His pocket contained a note that reads Tamam should, is finished, torn from a copy of the Rubaiyat. The exact copy was found and it contained a strange code that remains uncracked to this day, as well as a phone number that lead to a woman who claimed to have no idea who the man is or why her phone number was left on a Persian poetry collection with a missing page found in some completely unknowable corpse's pants pocket, it all reads like a sci-fi thriller's plot. There's tons of other details and they're all equally perplexing and bizarre.